Hi, uh, my name's Josh, and uh, I'm pitching Conference Q. We have our uh, team here, Ryan, John, and Lance. We're very happy to be here. The very basic, I'd like to go ahead and switch over, the mission of Conference Q is to make meetings more efficient. We want to add value to the attendees at meetings by making them more pleasurable to be at. We've all been there. We've been to these meetings, and it's frustrating. Nothing's organized. Questions are coming all over. The moderator is frustrated because things just aren't going the way they should go. The problem is people are going to meetings. They're not having a good time. There's no value there. Next slide. So we have two basic customers for our product. One is the attendee. And these are the people who stand behind the microphone. We want to provide them with a, um, with a web app on their smartphone that allows them certain functionalities, whether it be being put into a queue so we know who's coming up next, the ability to speak with a microphone, voting, giving feedback immediately as conversations are going on. We're going to make the meeting more effective. We're going to make it easier to be an attendee. Next slide. Oh, look at that. We have ads up there. Oh, my. We have other customers. That's the actual moderators. These are the people who are you know, controlling the meeting, trying to make things go the way they should. But they need certain tools. They need tools to queue up the people. They need to learn how to manage everything. <clears throat> of course, our core value proposition uh, here at the bottom, improving the quality of the meeting, making it something that's enjoyable. Next slide. Oh my gosh, blooper. Two markets <laughs> that are here. We have local markets, community councils, smaller meetings, you know, neighborhood uh, watches, larger markets, statewide meetings. AFN, game board meetings, Alaska Municipal League. Are we, are we sick of the ads? We want to pay the 99 cents to get rid of the ads? <laughs> MC Ham will pay for it. There they go. <laughs> we did market research. We asked two groups what they thought. We asked the, the, the planners of the meetings. We also asked the attendees. In our market research, the planners gave us feedback as far as are people complaining that they're frustrated with the meetings? You know, what type of meetings do they do? Are they large meetings, small meetings? What they did is they validated that, yes, there is a problem, that people are attending meetings, that they're not particularly happy with the outcomes. They also valued our approach to making the meetings more effective, more efficient, and they qualified our target market. Next slide. No ads. 99 cents. Attendee survey. What they did is they helped confirm some of the feedback that we got from the planners. We asked them, we asked both of them about participation levels, and they both responded, participation levels sit about 25%. Our goal, of course, is to make that, uh, is to increase that number, make that participation valuable. They, of course, valued our approach and validated this, this, this problem that we've identified. Wall Street Journal. In doing our research, what is, what is going on right now? Companies are beginning to revalue face-to-face -face meetings. They're finding out that it costs them in their original plan to keep people back, save the travel costs, do everything via teleconference. So we found that they're moving to sending their people to face-to-face -face meetings, but they want more out of it. They're not going to send them to a five-day meeting. They're going to send them to a three-day meeting. They want it more efficient, and they want it more effective. How big of a market are we talking about? The Convention Industry Council did a survey in 2009, 1.8 million meetings happening in the United States. Over 2 million attendees. Certainly 52% of those are corporate business. Those are really handled by more uh, professional applications, WebEx, and, and, and some other type programs. But we're finding out that a million people, that's not a bad market at all. 100 million. 100 million. That's right. Thank you, Len. Next slide. We've outlined our, our key activities. Our group has done a lot this weekend. Certainly going through our hypothesis and our market research, identifying our initial product. We sent our estimates, um, our design, to um, a local iPhone app developer and got a, a development cost estimate of about $50,000. What do we have left to do? Certainly mocking up our iPhone app, finishing up this pitch and taking home all those miles, finalizing our business plan, and then of course implementing the prototype Gathering the data. Where do you want to go? You want to go to the conference capital of the world, Las Vegas. That's what we're going to do with our miles. Go to Las Vegas, find out if this product works, try it in the real market, fix it, improve it, and then roll it out on our implementation and rollout strategy using partnerships with Eventbrite, 
Facebook, and so on. Okay, here on this slide we have some very big uh, points, but we put them out real nicely for you. Our revenue streams. As with everything we've heard today, this is going to be a free app. We'll let you have the app for free, but we're going to have ad support. You don't want the ads, simple price, 99 cents. Moving into the future, we can add certain features to it. Video, you know, uh, talking features that may not be in the initial rollout, and we can charge you for that. Our cost structure, pretty simple. $50,000 developing the application, and then our operating costs, posting essentially free. Everything goes into marketing. That's where it is. You want to get as many users early on to use this and keep using it and tell their friends. Our key partners, certainly trade association, event planners, the people who put on these meetings, application developers and scheduling services. How do you roll out and distribute it? We'll have our website. We're going to make the best use of all social media. Running on time. Okay. So go ahead. These are our team. And then uh, we have our mock-up of our <laughs> So much to say, so little time. <laughs> so um, 50000 for operating costs, how are you going to do that? It seems really low. Um, not initially. I think in, initially it's all about uh, the marketing aspect of it, getting the word out and getting this app into people's hands. That's the number one thing, is getting people to use it. <coughs> what, is, what does your app do to make users more interesting? Um, <laughs> well, what, and, and certainly I've run out of time, but it's a, it's a very simple app that, that says, okay, uh, I'm in a meeting and I want to talk. I hit a, a button and it puts me in a queue. The moderator can then say, okay, I know Dan wants to talk, I know Lance wants to talk, and Josh wants to talk. It says, okay, Dan, you're up. Then Lance, then Josh. Right, the engine, and then phone. you can use the phone to actually speak, okay. so you don't need to walk up behind that microphone, oh, standing in line. And then if, if I'm sitting in there, and let's say I want to talk, but I want to say, well, I think Dan's a little bit wrong on this issue, then I can type in there, I think Dan's wrong on this issue, post a comment, and that can be broadcast up, or it can be sent out to everybody else. How are you going to manage the folks in the room who don't have too much? I saw 75% of the people in the room that think you know, as certainly as things go, I think uh, iPhones and um, other smartphones would be able to uh, use this app. I don't think it would be iPhone specific. I think certainly you'd want to get an Android version. And for those people who don't bring iPhones, I think you'll always have that microphone that they can participate in. And how are you going to manage? I'm just thinking of a public forum where you know if Dan gets access first type first, you know, in line because he's got his iPhone. But I'm like, I have no iPhone. Where do I fit in here? Well, I think that would be up to the moderator. And I think if I was the moderator, I would first say, you know, uh, we're running this meeting. We're using Conference Queue. How many people don't have it? Okay, just one. Why don't you bring it first? We'll take care of you. And then you can watch as everybody else fights it out online. Is this going to work off of Wi-Fi in the room? Yes. Would that be able to handle that? There be a lot of people doing video. I don't think uh, initially that we worry about video because you're exactly oh. right. I think well, I think video would really push things uh, down. This is really just a just, you know, just an app that yeah. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. you're not actually so doing live streaming. It can also work over instant cell service. It's it not just yeah. Oh, okay. And you talked to meeting planners. I mean, who, who did you do your market research with? Well, we set up uh, two surveys over the weekend, and we were able to uh, contact a couple of our friends, uh, the meeting planners, uh, uh, for. Yeah. So we talked to a couple of local figures in terms of meeting planning, but we also sent it out via our social network and you know, got those responses. Well, I'm doing this already. I was just going to address that a little bit. One of the things that you didn't really see at the end with a an epic slide that showed the team was that these guys between them have like 30 years of experience in that industry, and so they have a good context and good understanding of how that industry works and how to leverage those relationships to try to push But to answer your question, nobody else does something like this on an electronic format for meetings that are face-to-face. -face. Everything is for video conferencing, teleconferencing, those sort of programs exist, but nothing that happens within a meeting that's face-to-face. -face. So that's why like, like GoToMeeting and ReadyTalk, they're not competitors because they're right. That, right. that is, as, as John likes to point out, that's bringing people who are in desperate, disparate regions together. We're actually increasing the communication with people in the room. 
good? Yeah. Okay.